let's do some examples with areas of circles. This is video two. In video one, we derived the formula. So if you want to look at that, click on the little i and it'll take you there. Example one, find the area of the following shape. Now, there's a booklet or a handout in the comments, so you can print that out if you like and follow along. So here we have a circle and five is the radius. So we're going to use pi r squared and by plugging in five where the r is. So we have pi times five squared, or in other words, 25 pi. Remember to always use pi in your calculator. So pi is this little one here, the tiny little yellow pi there. So we have to hit shift pi in order to use that. So we need pi five squared, so pi times five squared. Remember to use times. If you don't use times, it's not going to give you the same answer, see? Otherwise, you can put the number first and then pi. If you put the number first, you don't have to have the times, but if you put pi, then you need the times and then the number, okay? Just bear that in mind. So let's write that down, 78.5 centimeters squared. Don't forget the units. Example two, find the area of the following shape. This time they've given us the diameter. We need the radius for the area of a circle, so we have to divide it by two to get the radius. So now we can plug that into the area formula and we have uh, pi times, dividing that by two is 2.05 squared. You can just plug all of that in, but make sure you use brackets. So the answer should be 13.2 centimeters squared. Example three, find the area of the following shape. This time we have half a circle and the diameter. So first of all, we have to make sure we use r. So r is half of that. Then the area is pi r squared. Half the area would be half pi r squared. So now we have half pi times 3.5, 7 divided by 2 squared. So put in the calculator, we get 19.2 centimeters squared. This question is tricky because one, you might forget that you've divided by two already because of diameter, and you might forget to divide by two because it's half a circle. So there's two dividing by twos here. Be very careful. If they give you the radius, then you only divide by two once because it's a half a circle. Example four, here we have a quarter of a circle and the radius. So the area is pi r squared divided by four, or pi r squared times a quarter. And the radius is already given, so it's six over there. Don't forget that quarter. Plug it into the calculator and you get 28.3 centimeters squared. Last example, this shape here is called an annulus. It's a big circle with a hole in the middle. So to find the area, we have to take the big area minus the little area inside. Now I've distinguished between the two areas pi r squared by using capital R for the radius of the big circle. So that's three goes there and then one goes in there in the second one. So now we have pi three squared minus pi one squared. You can put that all into the calculator or you can do it in your head as three squared is nine minus one is eight. So I would just put in eight pi in the calculator and I would get 25.1 centimeters squared. That's it from me today. Just double check you have the correct working out for everything and I'll see you next time. Bye.